Um, <coughs> to be honest, right now I don't really feel I want to record any of my Sims 3 series or another lucky challenge. I mean, the lucky challenge yet. So instead, I decided to do um, an update video of my another lucky challenge on my current family. So, yeah, I would say I kind of did over there this time again. I don't really show you guys think it or not, but yeah, I. I actually finally did another update for my another election which actually we are on the like you know generation 40 are fully grown right now kind of crazy if you ask me all right so in case you guys see we actually like some I mean our boy right here we actually like generation 4 now fully grown to, to young adults age and the person will actually will carry on the legacy in case I think I didn't tell you before I think it's actually Tucker and yeah Something like that, but yeah, I mean Felicia actually having another shy why you know on the play I play off camera with um, You know fun stuff, so I should get a family too a little bit just you know to clarify something so right now she actually get married with um, You know a certain person we actually uh, married with Jake um, which is actually the um, You know also a shy of the twins is Tucker and Wanton, which is right now um they both young adult here, and she actually have Karina, um, which actually before, in case you guys kind of know, which Karina, um, her, I mean, the baby from Papa is actually Kane, in case you guys kind of know, and also Felicia actually have another child, which is you know, um, the youngest, which is we have Quake, <laughs> um, yeah, kind of don't judge me how I name my sim, but seriously, I, I try best to name it a lot, you know. <laughs> Alright, and quick baby father, I mean, <laughs> I mean baby papa, I mean we have baby mama, we have baby papa, it's actually Raphael, yeah. I mean all of the, um, you know, Felicia, the boy who had, I mean the guy for Felicia actually have kid with our form exactly the same. Um, household which is actually called, you know, home of the hunks. Right now all the hunks are old now, which is quite ironic, but hey, it's actually happened right, right away, but anyway. Who, so in case you guys kind of know what happened right here, um, in case you guys kind of already know, um, definitely Celeste actually passed away already. In case you kind of know, she actually alive in the time where you know I, um, I show where you know like we have like Karina as a child and you know the twins are becoming just a toddler. Why like Quake still doesn't even born yet, but I think he actually born right after this. So I believe all the generation three children are now an elders, probably except. Buckler, I, I know I, I didn't really check it much, but I mean I'm not really sure I should actually give clip on a mega I mean he uh, he actually just turned to um, An elder at that point which is quite crazy and he had one much god dang it also that's a little um, Fact that Colette and then you guys already know that he she actually have a child named Karen, which is yeah Fun stuff and she also have another daughter, which is her name is Janine. Um, yeah, both of them are actually like Young adult, some of that, I'll definitely show you guys right away because I actually Felicia are on actually, you know, Colette's home, so it's actually uh, makes sense for to show you guys like on hand, like how they look like, and you know, like, um, you know, fun stuff. I mean, or doesn't have that much. I mean, Marissa and Rihanna are already Asia, but yeah, nothing funny is clipped on actually move out and leave with Rihanna because, um, you know, just like they actually like have some same interests together and then, you know. Have a cousin, I mean, live together is actually a good idea. <laughs> Don't you agree? <laughs> okay. So, I'm um, sorry about that. I mean, I uh, like, I um, don't know what to say because there's a lot of someone to and I don't really want to make a pong long since it's actually a current family, but still, there's a lot of someone to make sure. In case you guys can see the family tree that went on actually moving out now, which is, yeah. Um, yeah, he actually moving out and he also. Um, have a girlfriend um, named Julia. I mean, they actually. Um, kind of know each other when they're actually like high school. I mean, wait, no, no, not high school, elementary school, and you know they actually come boyfriend girlfriend on the prom night, which is actually really cool. <laughs> I know, but I mean after this, um, I mean sometime later I will definitely move them in together. Right now, um, Wenton actually live alone. Um, he also got a trade right here. Um, he actually is commitment issue. Um, I probably clumsy, real enthusiastic, excitable. Yeah, this is actually his trait. I'm, um, I actually have to show. Okay. Yeah. So here's a word of political career because yeah, why not? <laughs> and we have Karina. Um, I think we'll probably show you guys on a wedding. 
Um, yeah. Not even before we talk about Karina, sorry about that. We talk about Tucker first, which is actually the one who will carry on the legacy. Um, Tucker, he actually, um, you know, that's the twins right here now, okay? He actually, you know, still like athletic and friendly, but he actually got the thing like Gatherer and then Greg Kisser, because why not? He kind of hung up. I'm not like, he actually have a lot of muscle. I mean, he actually got his same hair as his dad, too, which is kind of fun. But he'd be techno blow because, yeah, why not just give some flaw on my sim? Because I don't want my sim to be perfect. I mean, too perfect. I like his um, twin brother. He actually doesn't have um, any job yet. But kind of say that he actually, like, collecting things and sell stuff, or, like, probably for his income or something, and then, like, there's probably no point for him to actually get a job or anything, so he doesn't, he doesn't have employed right now, but I don't know, maybe when he actually got a family starting and make, consider him to actually get a job later, because um, probably that's how we do like young adult um, work right now, I guess. <laughs> and also, in case you guys know, um, right now he has on a date. Um, on a sub, and I would say you actually have a little thing on the girl, her name is Hilda. Um, it's kind of a potential um, partner for Tucker because they're actually hitting out together. I kind of like, and you know, like he actually feels attractive to Hilda because you know, she's look at her. I mean, she's quite a kind of hot too. I mean, definitely Tucker style. Why not? <laughs> Also, yeah, I mean, I kind of literally, um, you know, had to find a girl for Tucker now, but since he actually going to be the one to carry on. And lucky enough that I need to actually create one in my creator sim, because that's probably going to take for a while. But yeah, so we definitely going to probably see them together somehow. I hope, because why not? I mean, we definitely have like a potential partner for Tucker. I literally can't wait to play them more, something like that. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Um, we are definitely going to Karina. Um, right now Karina is actually at Wendon House, which is, um, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, Wendon actually moving on to a little home on around the town district in case, um, yeah, you know. So here's Karina. She's quite, you know, really, a uh, really sexy girl and, you know, look how um, hot she was. I love her hair so much. I use that a lot, some stuff. Um, he, she has like flirty, um, love the outdoor, genius, easy impressed, and charismatic. Man, I will, I mean, I literally like Karina that I kind of afraid that when, when I'm going to tweet her, I'm going to be like a slut 2.0. I don't know. Because kind of like the scenario that I actually like didn't move on from the, you know, old house, like it usually does, and kind of like having, kind of like having a shy after that, like not even actually the one who will go into Karen's legacy though. I know. I got afraid she has to do it that way. But hey, I mean, no big deal. Her lifetime is she wants to be a jack of all trade, which is actually the fight on four different career. Why not she work on science career? I just say she has to like have a little career training for um from her mom's office because yeah, I mean, I mean, in case you guys know, Felicia won scientist career. I mean, science career. So yeah, kind of makes sense. Don't you agree? <laughs> okay. And of course, because you know, she definitely young adult, she actually have a thing with that Myron guy. Yeah, I mean he has a policeman who actually um helping the family from getting robbed um a while ago. I I know that actually um um they actually got captured or anything, but she actually kinda like have a thing with him, something like that, you know, just probably say have a thing. Because that's how I say it here, okay? So here we go. This is how like how it work um and I have no idea where Wenton go um he's supposed to be at home I mean how how the hell didn't see him okay just oh my god seriously I have to I have to actually um have an old speed but here we go this is actually Wenton I mean I like Tucker Wenton kind of like you know the guy who just a bit serious something like that have a bit of issue somehow I don't know but yeah this is actually his um cloning gift to him I guess. It's kind of look really a bit, you know, kind of like you see Tucker. I mean, Tucker, he's more like a bodybuilder. I don't know. And I forgot to show um, to a guy his um, lifetime, which is one of his perfection, which is um, perfection everything. You know, you see how actually Tucker is actually more like a, you know, an, a bodybuilder to me. Look at his muscle. I'm not lying. Look at his freaking muscle. I mean, so freaking buff. I'm not even lying. You guys see it right away. But on the on the country, Wantons, he's kind of like a bit like more um, 
call like um smart person I know just saying and I try to have the hair pop and just call um different smart in a way <laughs> I don't know just saying I'm not really sure I actually did a um the good job of this but yeah um you definitely I know Karina Sasha older she maybe she actually gonna have a shy soon before Tucker does well probably too anyway <laughs> but I seem I'm really sure that um Wen turn was definitely having a shy but I didn't plan for him anyway because heck I know. But the thing I kind of talk about Wenton is he actually live alone right now. His girlfriend doesn't actually uh, move in with him yet. But I'll probably do that later. I mean, a bit later, I guess. So yeah, here's here's another thing. Okay, so before we actually go to the, you know, Felicia and Jake or something, we're probably going to go to the last child. AKA, um, you know, the youngest of the Generation 4 of the main family branch. We have Mr. Quakeshore. He a bit like a one god type, something like that. I mean, look at his hat. He actually wearing some earrings, like a red rat watch, some two necklace on the same um, outfit. Blow the mind. <laughs> Not a line. He's a bit like a one god type. I mean, you know, her like I'm not really sure if I take um after his father or anything like Raphael, I'm not really sure. But the fun fact is, um, when actually like Felicia tried to woo Raphael, it was she didn't really have a hard time. Raphael was. I don't know. I mean, he tried to kiss him and then he like reject her like no freaking shit. I mean, kind of, kind of like unsurprising that Felicia decided to go and hook with Jake instead. I mean, Kane is alright. I mean, I know that he has your first one, but come to again, he's not really her type anymore or something. And because I'm planning that she probably can get married with someone who I like a shy will be. They want to carry a legacy, of course, we definitely go with Jake. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, I mean, fun story. Probably um, on a slideshow would tow more, even though I'm not sure we tow that much or anything. But yeah. Here's Mr. Quake. He actually blew Rave. Good sense of humor, um, dramatic, a one guard, because why not? And what you show. And by the way, fun fact for Quakey Boy, he actually um, enrolled to boarding school, to the uh, art school. And he just actually coming back because I probably plan when he actually comes back I was going to shoot a video anyway because hey, it's about time. About freaking time. You got me. <laughs> anyway, so he actually like um pop, um copper and he's white. That's why I actually wear a white cap. And you know fun fact that he actually um born with blue hair. I mean, um yeah, you guys probably see at the slideshow I'm gonna show that um a little bit later, but um, for fun, he actually put on guard and decided to dye his hair a bit on his own color. But he still actually keep his tip for the shore legacy line. Yes, yeah. um, I I said right, you know, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Also, Quake actually just got a career as a music career. I kind of feel that why not? I mean, he actually have a good piano player, and I think it's actually great idea to kind of like maybe he actually going to try to be a secret boy. It's actually his lifetime wish to you know just. Uh, painting all around the town and having like this a hobby for himself and definitely have a music career as his job or something like that. I kind of like the idea though, you know? And he, I don't know, did he actually some what? Well, oh, okay, actually, I'm for no reason actually become friend with Clifton, which I'm not really sure I probably give him a makeover after I, um, some time later. He so actually got to know his father, and for no reason, I think he may have a thing with Spring. Um, I may going to make them become a couple later. I I know, maybe move in together or something, and maybe I guess. <laughs> I mean, who know? Who knows? That's probably not yet all the time that I show right away. But anyway, before we go to Felicia, which is actually the um the third generation of the one who holds the legacy, this is Jake, um father of Wanton and Tucker, the twins, and you know now Felicia's um really hunky husband. Um yeah, he's really hunky. I I I know. Just saying. He's a bit unstable, he's clumsy, with two show friendly and nurturing. Yeah, I think because it's nurturing um nature decided Felicia decided to he to be like his her soul partner, something like that. I would say here. He like Western music, hey, sweet, I don't know who to say an aqua. I mean yeah. <laughs> They're like blue together, but different blue. It's kinda alright to me. Um, also, whoa, okay, <laughs> I was shocked right here, but he actually worked on Turtles Korea at level 6, which is really, really crazy, I'm not even lying, he actually just probably got his um, degree a bit, so he actually got a head career, which is quite cool, but yeah, I mean, he's he's all old right now, and you know, fun stuff, and he's like 92 days for, you know, 
I mean, Net UL right now, just saying. <laughs> and yeah, he actually have a great friendship with Felicia. And you know, fun fact, Rion um, happened to be his boss, which is, I know why that even makes sense for the first place. But hey, no big deal, right? Also, you have friend Clifton too, because why not? Clifton is really cool. Yeah, you know. And at the time being, I will probably show guys where I decided how to live for each the shore member household. Um, for starters, this is actually a little island here. This is where Clifton and Rion are actually living. I decided to buy this house for them because why not? I mean, yeah, that's how we do. And this really big house here is actually, you know, Buck Buckler house. I believe, yeah, I mean, all generations are all passed away now. So I think Buckler, I think he almost gonna be elders um, sooner or later, but I'm not really sure when. I didn't actually even bother to check, but I'll definitely check here later with Felicia, I guess. Also, Morissel up still live in, you know, the her parent houseboat, in case you guys see right over there. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go, last but not least, definitely, is Felicia. So, Felicia, I mean, I would say I love her elder. Um, look so much. Look at her kitty sweater. I love it. I mean, I have no idea how much I love this. But yeah, she, she actually 90 day. Kind of glad Jake actually older than her, just saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, her is that, her is that the same, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, yeah, she actually hanging at Colette's house. I mean, her cousin's house or something, you know, like... So let's, um, you know, yeah, so let's child, I mean, Colette actually, I mean, Colette Clifton or Celeste child, but, you know, Colette actually living this town, Clifton living with Rihanna and something like that, blah, blah, blah. She actually level 7 on, um, science career, which is, yeah, I mean, kind of like Karina doesn't know where she, where she was, so she felt like she actually, um, recommend her, I mean, the career for her, yeah. Also, this is, um, yeah, I mean, Right now, Karen um become a tall young that one. Look her boobs. Her freaking boob is so freaking big. I mean, they literally take after her mother. I'm not even lying. I love her hair. I mean, even though I she size them from Abri I Abriana from my Lucky Palms current family, but still, I love his hair with the uh, sunglasses. So cool. Also, we got G9. This is actually you know the Colette young sister, and of course. Um, and no, not Colette's younger sister, I mean, Karen younger sister, but Colette's second daughter. What am I talking about? Why am I so freaking confused? I didn't get it. But yeah, she, unlike, you know, her sister, like, totally like a diva, queen bee. I mean, yeah, Karen's a bit like a queen bee or something. Look at her outfit, like, solely sexy, but Jenna like, a bit like, um, you know, easygoing, something like that, dreamy, I really like her. Um, yeah, they actually live over there, and yeah, and here's this, I think, did she just pee herself? Seriously? But yeah, Colette still work as, you know, couldn't work here, like, she's really mastering, and he's Darnell, um, yeah, I mean, they're still really good, they love each other, I love him so much, <laughs> yeah, you know. You know, I think they just got a keen, and this is either keen and pie, because I just made, well, yeah, why to see, and, um, yeah, Felicia decided to, kind of, like, spend some, um, romance um, movie with her niece, I guess. I know, I think her niece. I know, same. I mean, um, they kind of know each other, do you know, right? <laughs> I know, definitely. I kind of wanted my sim to get to close to each other. That's actually nothing I wanted, you know? Yeah. But, we also kind of forgot the dogs. Right now we have Peanut and Pickles. Um, the two original dog. Um, right now Peanut actually have a flea for no reason. And, oh, I want to sneak Quakey boy. <laughs> okay, um, we definitely do that later. Oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, for fun fact is, um, I'll probably open it right away at um the dog. The couple dog actually got um have a breed and they actually have a two little cute um little puppy will be. <laughs> we have like Panda, um the first um puppy will be, as I guess, and we have Patty, which is um a second. Puppy Wabby. <laughs> I know, I mean, just adorable. I mean, they literally are high from their parents, which is very cool. You know, fun stuff, right? Okay. Um. Yeah, about that. I mean, you guys can see that they actually have four, three puppies in the household instead of four. Because apparently, when Ranton moving out, he decided to take Patty with him because, yeah, a man needs some adult friends. <laughs> you guys know it, right? Okay. But right now, um, I decided to, you know, have a scenario that we actually have a family meeting on Saturday and decided to have like a, you know, sleeping reunion between Patty and Panda and look at them with adorable each other. I mean, they have a little minor detail shame, like, you know, Panda doesn't actually have like a, um, kind of like, 
<laughs> I know, but I see the patty actually have like a brown ear, like Panda Kale, um, you know, white ear. Yeah, adorable as ever. <laughs> I think I um kind of gone a bit long now. I definitely go back to the slideshow section with some really cool music to listen. I guess yes. Okay. So for next generation, I mean for next update, I'm planning maybe probably gonna have like Tucker actually having. A shot right now at time being, I'm not really sure why the time that maybe that Quake definitely move out because I know, I kind of feel Quake definitely move out later because, you know, kind of like Wenton. <laughs> Just saying, okay. But yeah, I think I definitely coming, um, Shiga, where actually he actually, I mean, Tucker kind of spent time with his crush. We definitely will see them more together for sure. I definitely knew it, right? Okay. <laughs> but anywho, I believe it's probably about time I should, uh, stop my commentating part and go for the slideshow part because, yeah, it's about time because I don't want to part too long. I, I know. It's just a lot of stuff I want to tell. And that's why the part on this current family is going to be a bit longer. I'm sorry, guys, okay? <laughs> okay guys, I think I'll stop right here, okay? So once again, we'll definitely see you guys in the next video and I definitely will make it more my and I like a challenge for sure because I love all of them. You know it, right? Okay.
Thank you.